What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Old Mike riding along. We're gonna give you a shout. Going up here to hunt with old Robert and Jeremy again. Another night in the woods. Gotta love it. I don't know what they're bringing. Expect they'll bring sis and a young dog. We've been trying to get these young dogs going. I got old Spook. Of course, that's the only dog I got for uh, running and running them ringtails. Old Duke, he's at the house. He'll be out in the field tomorrow working. So, figured to jump on and say hi and he can do a live stream. Maybe we'll do a live stream tomorrow. Y'all want a live stream? Give me a thumbs up. Tell me, heck yeah. Maybe we'll do us a live stream about noon or so. East Central Standard Time. Hopefully we'll get some video made of some dogs running and tree and some coons tonight. But it's hunting. We're not killing anything. We're just exercising dogs. Teaching them a little bit. Old Spook don't need to be taught nothing. Sis don't need to be taught nothing. These young dogs, they will not learn how to do anything sitting in a dog pen. Everybody's got young dogs sitting out there. I mean, if you want a pet, that's that's fine. But if you want a good, a good hound gotta get them in the woods. Can't say that enough. Everybody's got two-year-old dogs and wondering why they don't run and treat coons. Like my dog, I mean, he's six and a half years old, but when he was two years old, I promise you, when you cut that dog, he was nothing but in the woods treeing coons. You know why? When he was, he, I got him when he was seven months old, and the first year that I had that dog, I promise you, he was in the woods at least 250 nights. It takes that to make a really good one. They don't learn nothing in the pen. They learn from experience. They got to be in the woods to experience everything. You didn't learn how to read and write sitting at the house watching cartoons, I promise you. Not going to happen that way. So... You know, I, I don't know. If you don't put the time in, it's like anything. If you don't put the effort and time into it, you're not going to get no returns. I had an Amish boy I was talking to the other day. He said uh, he was waiting on rain to plant his corn. I said, well, aren't you supposed to plant the corn and hope for rain? And he's, he wanted to rain first. And I said, well, you know, I'm not putting anybody down, but as a Christian man, you plant the seed and have faith that you will have rain to, fer to germinate your seed. You know, you don't wait for the rain and then plant your seed, but I don't know, that's just my way of thinking, just how it is. I'm a little odd sometimes. up here see my boys Robert and Jeremy tree a coon or two go home go to bed that's my plan but if y'all want to live stream tomorrow give me a heck yeah and uh, down there in the comments we'll do us a live stream so I'll jump off here I'm almost to the house Jump off here and we'll see you in the woods. Y'all take care and God bless. Love you.